All right, uh, let's have a word of prayer and we'll get uh, into our message. Father, I'm asking you, Lord, to take over because I can't, I can't convince anyone, but that Holy Spirit can work in the hearts to do a whole lot. I pray that you would be the power in my voice that holds the attention to the message that you've given me, but also be the power that understands, gives the understanding to each heart and mind. Lord, if there's one in our midst today who does not know, they're not 100% sure if they died today that heaven's their home, I pray that today would be the very day they receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. And we would ask this in that name above every name, the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, last week I felt led to do the sermon, and really these kind of fall out from the idea we've been looking at the torments of hell. Uh, with those things in mind, and, and then we've got to believe that people are actually going to hell. You know, that's, that's the problem. A lot of folks just don't believe it. They are, there are people going to a hell. It is a real place. But the message itself last Sunday was more about our responsibility in that. If we believe that hell is real, and it is, and those torments actually will take place for all eternity, and they will, then what kind of people would we be to allow the fear of man, the rejection of man, or what people would think about us, deter us from witnessing the gospel of Christ? Because that is our commission by God to be witnesses for the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I just like what Mrs. Lloyd shared.